Hey guys, I just got off the a call with a Tesla tech that was, she was very helpful. Um, I've been having a couple of MCU one issues to where I've had some artifacts coming in and off of my screen as I would switch between the different screens. And some of the things that she pointed out to do to help with that is go through and reset all of your trip counters. She said that trip counter data is all stored on your EMMC, your memory that's on the Tegra chips in the car. So if you clear that data out, that clears the the data off of the free space pretty much on that chip and makes that space available for everything else you're doing with your car. Um, they said to do it every couple of weeks if your chip's getting older. And my car is a 2014S, so it's getting along in the tooth a little bit. So I went through yesterday and cleared all that data out, and I did actually have less artifacts on the screen after doing so. Um, she said to also go through and, like on your navigation, to clear out any of your previous locations you've had in there. And I'm not seeing where exactly to do that on the navigation screen. There probably is a place to do it once you bring the actual navigation up. Um, but she said to, to clear that out. She said also with the, if you're using like a USB stick to have memory on it, that the car will build up an index of all of the files that are on that USB card. So that's using a lot of memory on the chip also. So if you're using memory, uh, you know, a USB stick for music, maybe discontinue doing that for now until you get your, your daughter board is what they're calling it for the Tager chip. And that daughter board is where the EMMC chip is sitting. Um, one cool thing though, that I did find out about it today when I was talking to her is that the chip that's currently in our cars is a eight gigabit chip and the daughter board swap out that they're currently doing for the MCU one cars, they'll switch that daughter board out and put a, a new chip in there. And that new chip is 64 gigabytes instead of the eight gigabytes that we have now. So that gives us a lot more room, you know, for anything you're doing for your trip, all your trip data currently all of that is having to sit on that same 8 gig chip with the operating system for the car, with the music you're streaming, with uh, all the different locations you've gone to. If you're navigating somewhere, all of those navigation stop points, all of that is stored on that same 8 gigs of memory. With this new chip they're putting in, we'll have 64 gigs to store all of that data in. So the, the amount of times that you're writing over the same area of the chip is going to go way down because you have so much more room to put all that data. Um, so it, it's a, I think it's a an upgrade well worth doing. I, I actually requested to have it done, and right now my, I, so I went in, scheduled a a service request to have my EMMC chip replaced, and they called me up. I worked with. A tech she was amazing I don't know if I should give names I have no idea but she was really good um, I'll probably go leave a review about how good she was um, but she went in she took a look at the car gave me a call asked me if it was okay if you know I could go in and trip out or clear out the trip data she asked if it was okay if she could clear out all of the different charging locations all the navigation points everything else on the car to be able to free up a lot of that memory and then she was going to run a diagnostic on the chip i'm i'm fine with that right it's i took a picture of my my trip b because i was down i think it was like 270 watts per mile or something along those lines for 15,000 miles that i had since the last time i'd reset it and it, it's just i don't know why but for me it's kind of a goal to get this number as low as i can because it's just it's really nice to be to have the EV and to drive it as efficiently as I can. And by drive it efficiently, I still punch it all the time. <laughs> I still have a lot of fun. But, you know, I don't I don't do very much braking. So I just let the regen braking make up for a lot of my entertainment that I have on driving the car. But then it's also nice to know that, you know, I'm not having as much of an impact on, you know, burning a lot of electricity to get my butt down the road. Um so yeah, so she cleared that out. 
She cleared everything else out. She did, ran a remote diagnostic. And then she gave me a call back a couple hours later and said that, yeah, my chip is getting older and it needs to be replaced, but there is enough life in the chip currently that they're putting it in priority order um, of who gets the the updates sooner and who gets the updates later. And because my chip has enough life left in it that I'm kind of down on the list of who's going to get the replacement. But I am there. She said it would probably be a month or so because anybody whose chip has failed is at the top of the priority list. Anybody's chips that they're seeing that it looks like they're going to be failing sooner, they're, you know, bumping those replacements up above me, which I feel I'm completely happy with that. I would much rather have somebody that's in a worse situation get repaired before me, right? I'm, I'm good waiting. Um, but anyway, so that, you know, once they come out with these chips, the chips will be 64 gigabytes. So we'll go in, it's replacing an eight gigabyte card. And if you want to, I don't know, you know, where your car's at. My car still has a 3G radio in it. So while they're in there, they have to get behind this screen because the daughter board, it's kind of sitting in this area, I believe. The daughter board's here, but you have your 3G modem that's sitting off in this spot. So I actually requested if I could have the, the 3G modem upgraded to 4G and also to have that daughter board swapped out. And they were nice enough that they said that they would give me a discount on the labor since they're already going in there. And so it's kind of a package deal. If you do them at the same time, you know, they, you'll probably save a little bit on the labor on doing that. Um, and the 3G versus 4G radio, you're, you're probably not going to see any difference as far as, you know, responsive, you know, how responsive it is between the different screens. Even pulling down the data, more than likely, you're not going to see a big difference there. You can go to the Twilla owners forums and search for it and a bunch of people are reporting it. But the big difference that you have isn't that, you know, you go from 3G to 4G and now it's so much faster. It's that you now have a lot more areas open to you that have those 4G radios. And then in the next, I think it's 2021, late 2021 or early 2022, 22, a lot of companies are going to be decommissioning their 3G towers. So if you have 4G, that's going to extend the life of your car out even that much longer. Now, if you can wait however long it's going to take for Tesla to start implementing 5G radios, then I would wait for the 5G because that's your most forward looking, you know, your newest revision of LTE is going to get you down the road a lot farther than going with the 4G version of LTE. Um, but if they're in there replacing it anyway, it's, you know, a couple hundred bucks more to have them swap out your 4G antenna. You could also just use your cell phone as a hotspot if that's an op option for you. It just all depends on, you know, who your service provider is. Um, but anyway, so I figured I'd make a video about that because my, my car was having a lot of artifacts when I was going between the screens. Like if I would go down, you know, in any one of these screens, I'd typically see chunks of the last screen that was coming up and she did say some of that is the latest version that they pushed out um, but some of it could be if that chip is getting along in its life as well as if you go into your camera if you're seeing any sort of yeah, you can see my pellets over there for my smoker um, if you're seeing any sort of you know block out blocks of light that are going across or strips throughout your feed you know, it could show that your your screen is, is getting aged. Um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, and good luck.